one. So fall spring is now over in Chicago and we're back to winter freezing temperatures. So in order for me to feel better about the weather situation, I went down to one of my favorite local gardening centers and I picked up some bulbs that I'm going to plant this spring. So I planted tulips, daffodils, those type of bulbs in the fall. They're coming up now, but I wanted to also grab some bulbs similar to what I did last year, just to add those to my garden as well. And the ones that I am the most excited about are dahlias. So that's the main reason I went back to the specific garden center, because I got my Penhill watermelon dahlia bulbs last year there in the springtime. And I still have the two that I bought, so each of these comes with two bulbs in the package, and one I overwintered in vermiculite. That is still in vermiculite, and we'll see how it does. And then the second one I tested just keeping in the container that I planted it in, which was a grow bag. So that is sitting in the garage. Hopefully soon, we'll see if it survived and came back. So I'm planning to hopefully have at least two more of those that I'm growing this year. Um, the one that I'm storing in vermiculite, I'm planning to divide. So as long as the whole thing didn't rot over winter, then I should hopefully get multiples from that one. But it should be another few weeks before we see how those turned out. So those two I am going to be growing again, assuming everything goes as planned. And I also got, I think, four more varieties of dahlias. The Penhill watermelon were dinner plate dahlias, so I got three more of those in different varieties because I love them so much. So the first one, let's see, this is, oh no, that's the smaller one. I'll get to that in a second. But the first one that I got is Otto's Thrill. So there we go. It's kind of like a more salmon pink color, I would say. So the Penhill Watermelon, those were also supposed to be like a richer pink, but they ended up looking more like the Cafe au lait. So we'll see how they come back this year, if they come back a lighter pink or if they come back the color that they're supposed to be on the packaging. Um, but these I'm really excited about because as much as I love the light pink dahlias, I also wanna have some brighter pink dahlias as well. So there are, like I mentioned, two tubers in here that I'll be planting. And I actually think some of them might be able to be divided just in this package, but we'll see what it is when I unbox these and actually plant them up in a little bit. So that's the first dinner plate dahlia. The second one is Emery Paul. So this is more like a cooler bright pink tone. So the other one was a warmer pink. This is definitely a cooler pink. If you can't tell, pink is one of my favorite colors of flowers to grow. Um, so these I'm also just really excited about. They were the exact same dinner plate dahlias, just a whole different variety. Again, coming with two separate tubers in the bag. And the third one has actually already spilled a bunch of dirt on my lap and on the couch right here. So I'm going to try to pick it up in the bag that it came with. So one second. And here we go. Uh, so this one is the Thomas A. Edison variety. So it's like a warmer purple tone color. Um, so I'm super excited for these. It's a really deep, rich color. I'll try to also pop up images on the screen for these so that you can see them without the light reflecting off of the labels. Um, but same thing, two dinner plate dahlias in this container, or sorry, in this bag. So my plan is to basically do what I did last year. I'm going to grow them in, I think it's seven gallon grow bags is what I placed the two in last year. It worked really well. Um, I think they grew to about, I'd say four feet tall and just bloomed throughout the entire season. Now the instructions on the label actually say to start them outdoors once the danger of frost is passed, which to be safe in Chicago is typically after Mother's Day around May 15th. But what I did last year that I'm going to do again this year is I actually started them around mid-April, so about a month earlier than you're supposed to. And I think it was warm enough at the time that they spent most of the time outside. But any time that the temperatures dipped down to around freezing, I just brought them in overnight and that worked out really well. They grew a lot earlier than they would have if I would have waited till mid May. They produced blooms a lot earlier. And again, because they last so long throughout the season, it was just great to have those blooms throughout the majority of the gardening season. So that is my plan again. So just in a couple weeks here, I'll be planting those up in the grow bags. I'll show you how I do that. Um, and then they're going to go 
around the same area they were in my garden last year. So along the north edge of the garden deck, which actually gets the most light because the south facing sun shines onto the north side of the deck. And I want to just have that whole row lined with dahlias and also sunflowers. So I'm very, very excited for that and seeing how that turns out. I did make a dahlia video last year talking about how this was the first year, 2021, that I didn't kill the dahlias in my garden. So I'm hoping I can follow the exact same method that I did last year and have a bunch more dahlias. And the great thing, of course, is that then you can just keep the tubers and you don't have to rebuy the dahlias. Again, assuming I didn't destroy them over winter, which I don't 100% know yet. So those are the three dinner plate dahlias. Then I have two of the decorative dahlias, which are the fire pot variety. So this is a more orangey color flower. And these, I think these only get about two to three feet tall. Let me see where I can see. Uh, actually about 18 to 24 inches tall. So these are gonna be much shorter. I think my plan for these is to plant them in the lowest raised bed. So the raised bed where I currently have the beets growing. Last year, I think that bed ended up just being a random assortment of plants. I think I had a watermelon, a pepper plant, and then just threw some random, I think there was one sunflower in there as well. So I didn't really have a plan, but my plan for this year, which I'm hoping to stick to, would be to have yellow sunflowers in the back growing up, and then to have these in front, and then something purple trailing over the front. I think the combination of yellow, orange, and purple would just look really nice. So hoping I can pick up some sweet potato vines that are a purple color and have those hanging over the front of the bed. So that is the plan. We'll see how close I come to actually doing that. And then my last bulb is something that is completely new to me as far as growing it in my garden. And that is an elephant ear plant. Now I've seen them in many other gardens. In fact, one of my all-time favorite gardens in Chicago that I still don't understand how he transforms his yard the way that he does. I'll pop an image up on the screen. I think I've shared him before. Um, but he has elephant ears everywhere and they get so large and they can make such a statement that I'm excited to have this in my garden. I've only got one. I originally had two in my basket, but I was just thinking, you know, there's not, again, a ton of space in my garden. So I don't want to take up a lot of room but we'll see how it does this year. And then if I like it, I might add a second one as well. I think it would be nice to have these uh, by the doors that go out of the house onto the balcony, have one on each side, but that would be next year. This year, I think I'm going to plant this up and then put it next to uh, my little dining table area because that gets the most shade throughout the day and this can handle uh, part sun and a little bit of shade. So I'm hoping that will work out well there. Um, I'm going to plant it in a terracotta pot and start it inside just because I know these take a while to actually wake up and get going. So anything I can start inside before I can actually plant them outside is a great way to get a kind of a head start on the growing season. So I will definitely take you along as I pop those up. But those are, no it's not all the bulbs, I forgot one. I have two hardy lilies, which I'm really excited about these again because of the color. Um, they are like a bluish purple, almost black in the center of the petal, and then orange on the outside. I'm now realizing that I basically bought pink, orange, and purple bloom, so I guess that is my color scheme for this year. But there are two in here. The variety is Forever Susan. These, I think I'm going to plant in two of my black containers that, well, as far as I can tell, the tulips in the black container are doing okay, but there was a fritillaria that I planted in the other black container, which 100% rotted. Um, I dug down and it was mushy and it smelled. So another plan for next year that I'm gonna talk about in a separate video uh, is anything that I'm planting in containers and bulbs, I'm gonna definitely store them somewhere covered over winter. Um, but since that one didn't make it, I will probably replace it with one of these, but we'll see. I will obviously take you along with me as I actually get these in my garden, but I just think these are so pretty. This will be my first time also growing lilies in my garden. I've had some like in yards growing up and then in some of the places that we've lived in previously, they've been there, but this is the first time I'll be planting them myself and trying them out in containers. So I'm excited to see how these do too. I definitely have a lot more flowers this year than I had last year. There's gonna be a lot more color in my garden. And I just can't wait to see how it turns out. So 
I, again, I will take you along as I actually get these planted up, probably starting the dahlias inside, definitely starting the elephant ear inside. I figure out what I'm gonna do with the lilies. I might just start those outside a little bit later. Um, and then hopefully come July, we have a bunch of beautiful dahlias to look at as well. So I'm super excited for that. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what bulbs you tend to, or at least plan to plant this spring if you haven't planted some already. And definitely if you have any experience overwintering the elephant ear in a container, let me know as well. Uh, but other than that, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video when I'm hopefully planting something up.